Hey everybody, it's the Traveling Man, Mr. Donor Livingstone. Well, how you been, man? I know y'all miss me. Y'all been sending me messages and all kinds of shit saying, Where you at, man? Where's all the videos? We want to see some shit. Oh, uh, man, I've been a little busy. Uh, I spent about uh, the last month and a half working in the shop with my homeboys over at Jimmy Tucker getting this truck ready right here, this badass 379. But somehow I ended up in this fucking thing. Stick around uh, and see what happens. Hey there, is this thing working right? Hadn't done it so long. What the fuck, Jack? I am currently in Derrick's, Arkansas, and I'm gonna be taking a load of lumber up to uh, the St. Louis area for tomorrow morning, which will be Tuesday. And I uh, just spoke with a dispatcher, told her I would like that I should be empty by 9 a.m. And I would like a good paying load going anywhere. I don't give a damn where it goes. I got to make some money. And, uh, yeah. So, right now I'm kind of uh, cruising around in this Cascadia. I know some of you don't like Cascadia. I got to admit, I mean, the reason I'm in this Cascadia is because my truck, which a lot of you guys are going, what, 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 what the fuck are you still with Kaiser? Or, uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm back at Jimmy Tucker, and my truck is a 2006 Peterbilt 379, and oh, I got under my first load with it and blew a head gasket or something. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. That's that's what we're thinking blew a head gasket so the truck is being uh, uh, taken to Peterbilt and it's gonna be overall gonna get a completely rebuilt and so it'll be under warranty and all this so in the meantime I am using this Cascadia and man I gotta admit that's not a bad truck this is not a bad truck I I took it out for a run the other day, uh, ran up to Michigan and back, and it did all right. I mean, there's a few minor quirks that needed to be fixed. Nothing wrong real with the engine, really, uh, but good truck. It pulls and uh, rides pretty smooth. It's not bad at all. I'm just not used to the 10 speed. I, I prefer like a 13 or an 18 because the 10, like... There's always that, there's too many times where I need that split, that, that one in the middle, that half a gear that you get from a 13 or an 18. And uh, that's about the only thing that other, other than the looks, I, I gotta admit, they are not pretty trucks at all. It's not a very pretty truck, but it's still a good truck and it'll make you money. And that's the plan right now. So. Because I have been uh, so far behind since uh, starting back at Jimmy Tucker, I don't want to go back home until that truck is ready, until the, uh, the Peterbilt's ready for me. Because, um, well, I need to stay busy. I need to make some money. And, um... Man, I really just don't want to go home till that fucker's ready. And it's beautiful. It's a beautiful truck. And, um, well, future plans I have with it, I'll wait till the future to uh, expose those ideas, thoughts. But for now, load of lumber here out of Derrick's, Arkansas. It's not too far from our uh, yard out of Broken Bow, Oklahoma, which I'm from Idabel, Oklahoma, right next door to Broken Bow. And um, I'm real excited about being back at Tucker. It's awesome. Anyway, I'll just quit yapping and we'll get this show on the road. How about that?
Jesus Christ. Catch me outside. How about that? And we're off. Yeah, overnighted this stuff up to St. Louis. Took a real long time to get loaded over there in Arkansas. And then, of course, I had to tarp. But uh, anyway, got over here to St. Louis in the morning. And uh, right when I'm untarped and unstrapped and all that, everybody goes to break. What's with these places? Why do they all go to break at the same time? I mean, like the whole place just shuts down. All productivity ends, you know? Alright, well, they have arrived to unload me. <laughs> right on time, man. The guy pulls up right as I, I mean, like, okay, like I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh shit, man. And right as I let out this monster fart, I mean, like, five boiled eggs for breakfast fart, you know what I mean? Here comes a guy on a forklift, pulls right next to my door. I got my door open. I'm like, shit. <laughs> he had to catch a wave from that. But I'm like, God, these damn truck drivers stink. At least this one does. But they're getting after it now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I guess it was break time. They all go to break at the same time. I don't, I don't understand that. Anyway, I'm getting unloaded, and uh, I guess I'm going to run down here to the Loves that's right down the road, and uh, hang out. I heard about a load I might be picking up, but it might be a little too heavy. I don't know. I'm going to call them once I, once I get over here to the Loves and go take a poop. I think I should go poop. What the fuck, Chuck? TMI, a little too much information there. Do we all need to know about your damn bodily functions? All right, so like I said, I ran down to this Love's down the street. And before I went inside, I, my eyes, eyes caught this badass Mormon, man. I really dig these trucks. I used to see them a lot when I was in the Air Force. Uh, they were bulletproof and shit. I don't know if that one was or not, but it's still cool. Anyway, I got dispatched to go down to Chesterfield, Missouri and pick up some some crane mats in this big old mud hole. All right, so uh, I did a pickup over here uh, just like 20 miles down the road from uh, that drop over there. There's a mess. Jesus. Mud pit in my boots. Track that into the truck. <sighs> well, I got some plastic bags from Pilot. I guess I'll set down on the uh, floor mat here. And uh, I'm gonna go drop this tomorrow in Mississippi. And then I have a pickup after that in Olive Branch, Mississippi. Then I'm heading to Denver. And then I'm heading, then I'm picking up something else going back to Arkansas and I guess I'm going home. Hey, that ain't too bad, man. Look at that. I look like a fucking quail. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> All right, let's get rolling. Hey, 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 check this out. Check out this t-shirt the guys from Diesel Pride sent me. It's pretty fucking badass, man. Look here. Look at the back. This is, this is really cool, man. Check that out. Flatbed forever, baby. Yeah. Give it a shout out to Be Surprised. Be Surprised truck wash and apparel. Woo! All right, so I picked this stuff up in Chesterfield, uh, Missouri. Started heading to Mississippi. Saw this bad fucker over uh, on, my, on my way there. After I made my drop, I went up to Olive Branch, Mississippi, and then I got to take this load to Denver, Colorado. All right, so here it is Thursday, and I've made it over to Denver. Look what these guys left me with. They didn't even take half their load. Oh, man. These guys said they didn't order this stuff, or they ordered it, but they ordered it a long time ago, and uh, they don't have room for it. Look, they don't have room for it. Can you believe it? Look. Jeez. 
Anyway, so I got stuck with this stuff, man. I, I missed out on a load that was gonna run me back to the house and all this. I had plans I was gonna haul this other stuff and get back by Monday. And, and unload, reload, and then go to the house, man. I said, you know, and I know earlier in this video, I said, man, I'm gonna stay out as long as I can till my truck's ready, but no, man, you know what? If you, if you got any ability to get home, you're gonna take it. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video right now and I'm gonna finish up the rest of the trip some other time, man. I'm gonna take this shit out to California because someone wants it out there. So I tied it down and tarped it and headed out. I'll catch you guys on the next video. I appreciate you motherfuckers watching, man. I love you guys. Have a good weekend or have a good day. Have a good night. See ya.